Hello everybody and uh, welcome to our first fishing video. This is just a little bit of a tips one, um, inspired if you like by a chap who's uh, not long took up the hobby and as in most hobbies probably uh, inundated with uh, stuff that's on the market, all sorts of things to do, all sorts of things. Anyway, we got uh, discussing via email about knots, and uh, I try and keep fishing simple. Uh, and, and like many hobbies, you can spend as much or with fishing as little and still get some good stuff uh, as you like, really. Um, so uh, we got on to knots and this, that, and t'other. And to be honest, I've only used a couple of knots in my whole fishing career, if you want to call it that. Uh, we're going to use string because it'll show up easier on the video and I'm just going to use the handle on that mug to represent the eye on um, a hook for example. So here's our substitute uh, hook eye and here's our string representing the line. On the left hand side that's from the rod on the right the end of the line. So we take the end and thread it through the eye of the hook. Bring the end up and then wrap it round several twists around the line coming in from the rod. Now this string is a bit thick but as you can see we've got several twists around there. If I put too many on it probably won't uh, be very, a very good knot at the end because I say the string is a bit, a bit thick. So then what we do, we've got the twists, we take the end and we put it through the loop that has been formed between the twists there and the eye of the hook. Holding quite firmly onto the line from the rod, pull the end down. This is a bit grabby because it is string of course, but ease all the twists down as you go. So you've got them all down the bottom like that. Now. It's a bit on gain on this really, but uh, as you can see there, we've got quite a central pull on the line now. Now, it is a bit messy, but you'd obviously cut the excess off, but leave a little bit because as it pulls, to start with, till it tightens up properly, it could pull through and out and undo. So, snip a, a bit off, leaving a little bit of excess, so we've gone a bit over the top here by using the string but it's better to show you and there you are so you get a decent straight pull now that's a half blood knot uh, if you wanted uh, uh, an even more secure knot you could do another one over the top of that one but I've never had a need to use it myself really um, and that's that that's a half blood knot funnily enough they call well at least as far as I can recall from my time and I've been doing it on and off now for about 32 years um, if you did another one over the top, they call that a double blood knot, yet one is a half blood knot. Um, so folks, uh, here's a second little tip. It's very simple, we're going to tie a loop. Now this has been inspired by the same chap who I think I was reading correctly. Um, these days you can buy loop tyres, really. I suppose there may be a benefit somehow, but um, keeping things simple, this is what you do. Here's our line again, the string. Grab your line, fold it back on itself and then assess how long how large a loop you want. Grab the loop end, grab the other end in the other hand, bring it around, put the loop through the loop you've just tied, pull together, pull on tight and there's your loop. Again, leave a little bit of excess, cut a bit off. And obviously folks with your line make sure you put it away and dispose of it properly not at the riverbank. And that's it, simple as that. And then, showing you again, we'll take some line. We need to attach the hook length. Here's the hook length, here's the loop. Push the string through the loop. A certain amount, the line is a bit short now, of course we've used a bit of it. Hold it with your thumb and finger like that, twist, 
the one end round the other, push the free end that's not going to be attaching say the hook or anything else through the loop created you've just created push down the twist pull on it make sure it's tight cut the excess off leaving a little bit for help to pull through it's simple just like that and it's see it did, did pull through a little bit there but it's strong now that's it so we've got a loop with a blood knot or a half blood knot joining the two together simple as that